And we are live. Woo! Hello, welcome to uh, Failing to Read the News, episode 13. If you're wondering where 12 is, uh, don't. <laughs> Basically, what that stream was was just me bitching about the EU for <clears throat> about an hour and a half. And to be honest, I'm lucky I haven't been arrested for that yet. <laughs> uh, who do we have in the chat? It was so much fun. Box, fishing guy, marshmallow, and gray haired snake. Hello, people. Hello, fishing guy. Please don't run me over. Thank you. Yeah, don't run the blind girl over. Yeah, please. Please acknowledge your stop signs and don't run over the blind girl. Hello. Hello, Britt. Hello, Hello. Tom of Gold City. Hi, Tom. Hello, guys. Hello. <laughs> Howdy. Howdy. Wow. And Marshmallow, there is no punch, I'm afraid to say. Unless you weren't punched. Can you punch a marshmallow? Like, what would happen if you punch a marshmallow? It would just face fly back. back. Yeah. Anyway, teacher's tongue eating away after drowning six energy drinks a day. <coughs> First thing in the field. I don't know, I assume it's just energy drinks in general. Ah. Plus, in peeling away, this teacher says the damage done to his tongue as a result of consumption of energy drinks. Sorry. Yeah, I was about to say, uh, please, you know. No, it was, sorry, that was an accident. I've turned it off. Okay. Also, energy also. drinks will kill you. Yeah. Don Royals drinks at least six energy drinks a day. Oh my god. The damage done. To the inside of his mouth to his addiction. He is now <coughs> warning people about the dangers of drinking energy drinks, which contain up to 13 teaspoons of sugar. Fucking hell. Look at his tongue, man. <gasps> Fuck. I revealed that he told his, his doctor told him excessive sugar and various chemicals were found in the energy drinks. <laughs> Six a day, like that can kill you. What the hell? He's lucky it's just his mouth. Yeah, I mean, his tongue's completely fucked. <clears throat> that is an addiction. Wow. <laughs> and he's also That's lucky he doesn't have heart problems or anything either. Yeah. I was going to say, if that's what his tongue looks like, I hate to see what his heart's doing. Yeah. Oh God. But since he also smoked and how old as well. Is this kid? He's a teacher. I don't know how old he is. He's uh, probably thirties, I guess. Oh, uh, okay. I thought it was See? a kid. I was like, what a dumb <coughs> one. But if it's uh, a grown up, uh, you you deserve it. <sighs> Dan revealed his doctor told him the sets of sugar and various chemicals found in the energies were likely to blame to for his flesh eat, being eaten away. You know, on Facebook, who drinks energy drinks addicted to them? You may think again. Have a look at the second bit. <clears throat> this is what I've had two does. today, but those are small ones. It's not bad for you, though. Oh, no. That's why I don't drink them anymore. <clears throat> um, up until recently, when this started to pick up, I was drinking at least five or six a day. Lack of energy teaching kids usually. We'll drink coffee or anything. Hello, Mr. Miss Anthropic. Hi. Um, Studio Sun Box, it's the 2017 ver wit version of Idiot Bear Downing Energy Drinks. Uh, See, something, is, something, something tells me it's probably one of those energy drinks that have like scorpion venom or something like that in it. Wait, they're allowed to do that? I've never heard of them, but I, I guess um, I don't think so. I reckon it's just normal energy drinks. He just drinks that much that his tongue is just. I'm your life. Oh, yeah. Who's that? So I've turned it off. I was just had to turn the sound off because it came back on for some strange reason. Mm 
Can you actually put scorpion venom in a drink and why would you do it? I heard that Red Bull has actual um, bull cum. <laughs> it's not. It's a... Uh... It's taurine, which is in Bill Come. It doesn't. It's not necessarily Bill Swim itself. <laughs> I think it's extracted from Bill Swim, but it's not Bill Swim itself. <laughs> oh, that that makes it better. <clears throat> Glad I don't drink Red Bull. <laughs> yeah, most of them have it though. <clears throat> That's what taurine is. Um, and yes, it says, and yes, someone goes, it says, I brushed daily, went to the doctor, and boom, found out the chemicals in these drinks that are causing it. It literally eats away at your tongue. Be wary, guys. Arnold still smokes, but firmly believes his tongue damage is a result of the drinks. I, I would feel like it's safe to say it is. I mean, six of those a day, like, holy shit. I feel naughty just drinking one once in a while. Yeah, I only drink it when I drink, when I drink vodka and I've got no mixer to mix it with anymore. <sighs> I love cabbage. Hey, cabbage! Oh, yes, Mr. Mr. Frobic, I'm a free man, at least for now. No, I didn't call you a cabbage. Okay, so when I said, hey, cabbage... Some random person stopped was like, you talking to me? And I'm like, no, I wouldn't <laughs> call you a cabbage. <laughs> That's when you look around and just go, blind. Sorry, didn't see you there. <laughs> yeah, cabbage, I'm already. Right. Apparently, apparently calling a Canadian a cabbage is an insult. I didn't know that. <laughs> Gotta get beat up now. Nah, Canadians are supposed to be nice, so they don't. <laughs> yeah, that's what we want you to think. I'll get shanked for calling a random person a cabbage thanks to cabbage. Thanks, man. You just killed me. Yeah, marshmallow, oh, blind girl, don't be such a cabbage. Uh, I the bus and it didn't run me over. Yay. <laughs> what are, Bless you. The wonderful life advice we get for, between opinionated Scotsman and blind girl. Don't call somebody a cabbage and don't pee on the shower curtains. <laughs> yeah, don't try to play chicken with a bus. <coughs> or a train. <laughs> or me. Or this little <laughs> Prius that's beside me. Thank you, Prius, for not uh, Hello, over. Evil Dead. Hey, Evil Dead. Anyway, uh, yeah, I do actually take care of my oral health, but this is purely from these drinks. I, don't, I do smoke, but it's nothing to do with eating away my tongue. I, guess, I know chewing tobacco does that, but I think... I, I don't know if smoking does that. I think maybe it does. I don't know. It usually makes your tongue go black or brown. It doesn't, you know, erode away the uh, taste buds. Oh, it's not that chewing tobacco. Yeah, it makes your mouth go black. But... It can also give you a hairy tongue as well. Mm. But does he chew tobacco? Because he says he smokes, but he didn't say he chews tobacco. No. <laughs> Hello, little nigga. Hi, nigga. Hey, little nigga. World Health Organization research the study in the U.S. showed that dental cavities can a result of acidic pH and high sugar content from products such as energy drinks. <coughs> Another study showed that the consumption of energy drinks can cause erosion and smear layer removal in the teeth, leading to cavital and cervical dental representativity. Yeah, uh, don't drink energy drinks. Don't pee on don't pee on the cabbage either. I don't appreciate cold and shivers. <laughs> <laughs> Tell that to that guy at Walmart he peed on. What? Yeah. My son, he needed to pee in Walmart. Didn't have his textbook with him, so he couldn't tell me. So he just dropped it and started spraying everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Including on an innocent bystander that was shopping for cereal. Oh boy! <laughs> and I'm just like, he's autistic. I am so sorry. And the guy's like, Yeah, well, you should keep that thing, you know, away from people. And I'm like, I'm trying to get him to harness his penis. I'm sorry. 
Maybe we should have at least found a tub or something that you could piss in so it wasn't so bad. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> no, no, I, just found... put him in, I put him in jeans that are backwards so he can't undo <clears throat> them when we're shopping. Or just get him like nappies or diapers or something, you know. Uh, yeah. <sighs> <sighs> See, this unknown boss, what do you mean rest in peace? The stream died, has it? I don't have died. Uh, cleaners found house filled with 400 bags of human poo and 250 bottles of pee. Bloody hell. Speaking of pee. <laughs> Man, talk about a shithole house. Yeah, quite literally. An extreme cleaning company has what released a pitch together. Yeah, it's old. old. Yeah, I was going to say, I saw this article weeks ago. Yeah, it's old, but no one else covered it, so I'm going to cover it. <laughs> 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 What's Ghost will do? What's Ghost will do this thing on Friday? Yeah, we cover news before they do. An extremist, an extreme cleaning company has released a pit to gallery of its dirtiest jobs, including a house filled with 400 bags of human excrement and more than 250 bottles of urine. Hello, uh, thanks to piss. <laughs> oh, you nicked my joke. I was thinking of saying that before. No, it would be funny. Husband and wife, Leon and, Ke and Kenny Elliot, Elliot, clean up stomach-turning mess on a daily basis. People have released a series of shocking pictures from the most disgusting encounters. Fucking Christ, look at that. Uh. One thing I'll say about that, this, this, these people must... The guy who lives here likes cheap cider. I think we can establish that. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking hell. I've. To be I've fair, though, it's cider. About that. It's cider. What's in those bottles in that picture is probably nicer tasting than cider. Potentially. And cheap wine. Oh. Is this used as drawers and is, I've had to clean out trucks for some, where drivers have had the pee bottles. Mm. Almost every other time. That someone's peed in a bottle that I've ever seen. The bottle expands. So why is that one collapsed? I think maybe it's been there so long that it's just collapsed. Probably like fermented piss at this point. Yeah, yeah but if it was no. if it was fermented, then the bottle would have expanded. I don't know. Wrong stream. <laughs> yeah, she usually invades my streams now. Well, it's just whenever I come home, she's so excited that I have arrived that she has to meow. <laughs> yeah, Chloe, like Chloe you're invading the wrong stream. You're supposed to invade the other stream. Invade your own stream, yeah, not mine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Could you not even be arsed to get an arse train or did you just stick it in his drawer? Uh, what's he a gamer? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. <clears throat> Probably a compulsive gambler. I mean, they wear diapers so they don't have to leave their machine. Uh, it looked like a Chelsea Emin installation. I don't know who that is, Cabbage. Um, Tracy Emin, she was um, an artist in the um, 90s. She um, got mega famous for winning the Turner Prize one year for an installation which was just an unmade bed. <laughs> Tom, Tom of Gulsey, I once picked up a bottle of cider and down half of only to realise it was the wrong bottle. I used to pee in the night <laughs> oh, before. No. Yep, cryptic jig, dig juice. <clears throat> in addition to the dump bodily fluids that took five hours to clean, the couple have tackled rooms with every available inch covered in filth and dealt with one tiny flat that generated four tons of rubbish. Fuck me. On the pictures to make the horror galley include the garden area piled with <clears throat> dozens of bin bags, a heavy soiled mattress, and a toilet totally filled in filth. Totally. Oh. <clears throat> I will warn you, Bray, as well, some of these pictures actually get worse. I'm glad I can only see the chat. Oh, I'm glad I'm blind. <laughs> I'm glad I'm going for a sick. <clears throat> I'm glad I'm blind, man. I don't have to put up with this shit. <laughs> yeah, I would say I would mind. <laughs> yeah, you'd have to smell it, though. You still have to smell it. Uh, 
Yeah, true. And with that whole other end, other sense is getting stronger thing. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> thanks, Trucker. Uh, bye, Rosie. Nice to meet you. Bye, Rose. Later, Rosie. Bye, Rosie. Uh, they were also going to be cleaning at one from one home where they found more than 30,000 needles. Oh, that was probably in Edinburgh. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. All right, bye, little nigga. That's, that's, Rosie's not leaving. Little nigga's leaving. Okay. Oh, oh right. bye, little nigga. <laughs> Uh, uh, later, nigga. I, 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 I was going to say, I, th I think Rosie's on some sort of um, flyby thing today, but she did it to Brit earlier. Towards the end of Brit's stream, she popped it and said hi, and then stopped talking. She did it on my stream earlier. And you didn't do it to mine, Rosie? Come on, where's the love? <laughs> There's a 30,000 years, Neil. Fucking hell, man. How do you move about in that place? Very carefully with 30,000 uh, used needles. Fucking hell. I think it's Edinburgh. Uh, so we feel uh, like, feel like just, fucking munchy boxes or something. Okay. I don't understand how anyone can live in that kind of filth. It's fucking... Oh. Uh, I would rather kill myself. Uh, Rosie, the question is, those 30,000 needles, were they like at the bottom of this pit? You know, this little doll that when he walked in the room said he wanted to play a game? <laughs> Uh, Rosie, you've been awake since Tuesday. Well, at least, at least I'm not the only one that doesn't really sleep. Uh, Leon, 48, a former teacher at Col Collington Cornwall, from Collington Cornwall, said we, we had to empty a flat of rubbish and bodily fluids. You know, you're just covering the same sea you've already said before. I'd like to know what you've been on those tissues and whatever else, to be honest. Oh god, that's sick. Yeah, the couple ran Sarah Two Cleaning Services Limited and Shamai Cleanup, which involves crime scene cleaning. You know what I would do? I would just get a match and set the whole thing on fire and say, fuck it. Mind you, the smell from that would probably fucking be just as disgusting. Yeah, but the. I don't know. Some of these, I've seen some of these really, really bad ones. Like, to be honest, some of them are just not even worth keeping it anymore. You may as well just knock the building down. You better off that way. I just don't understand that anyone can make the house that fucking dirty. I can't, it won't actually be that fucking lazy. No idea. I think I'm going to be sick. The couple say the sense of humour gets through some of the toughest situations. Yeah, and I had Kenny Sunride, who works with us, picked the smallest straw and spent five hours discarding urine and poo. Fun job. Right. I'm How do you cope with something like that? You make sure you don't pick the short straw. <laughs> and you wear a good mask, white suits, <clears throat> gloves, and make sure your water bottle is unique so you don't mix things up. Yeah. And yet, still not as bad. That is that dude who didn't clean his house for eight years when his wife died. No, I think this is worse. I don't know. They haven't mentioned the maggots yet. Oh, maggots. Yeah, I can't stand maggots, maggots. either. That's... I just said maggots. I think it's an order to have maggots. You'd have to have a flying infestation first. So. Oh. <laughs> True. This is why I disinfect every fucking... Oh. Sifting through items is the most difficult. While she believes that most people live in a safe environment our, in our job, we have to be aware of drug paraphernalia, which sometimes not, is not thought about when we are put to carry out the work. Needle sweep takes time to protect and not only our operations... <coughs> But those in, in the refuge and cleaning and recycling center. And other times we come across the usual items, like four tons of rubbish, that were one tiny flat, hundreds of balls of press, and four bags of human shit out of one property. Jesus Christ. How hard is it to go to the fucking toilet? How hard is it to keep the toilet from fucking blocking up? Like buy a fucking plunger or something, I mean really. 
come on, I mean, surely, even if your toilet says Kelsing, I mean, at least, you know what I mean? But then I suppose if they're this late... Matter of fact, I think there's more efforts. There's more effort put into bagging your poop than there is to stand there and flush. Yeah, probably. But then, actually, thinking about it, it's no wonder the toilet's blocked. If they're this fucking lazy, you can imagine how bad their diet must be. <sighs> Too many tacos. <clears throat> I hope we'll move on from this next topic soon. I'm getting legit sick from this. Well, oh well. Obviously, these are bodily fluids and need to be disposed of properly. <clears throat> In this case, the toilet was salvageable and we, we were able to empty the continents. This way. Six months after starting their business, we called to a property in Devon for a needle sweep. Oh, so it wasn't end, brother. That was empty, but all the furniture was there, and the tenants had gone. Jesus fuck! Hey, Rose, are you feeling sick now? Oh. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave that there. Actually, I got a good feeling. I should oh, be man. happy. I'm on audio only. Yeah, and blind girl's probably happy she can't see right now. Yeah, pretty much. I, I, I can comment without having to actually see the, the horrors. Anyway, we're done with that story. Uh, Picture more pleasing sights like Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton naked. Uh, Theresa yeah. May naked. It's more pleasant sight than that. I was going to say, which would you rather? Would you have to sleep with Theresa May or clean up that apartment? <laughs> Stop going, trying to eat for fuck's sake. Well, <laughs> In the back of Peter's head, he's going, hey, Theresa, hey, baby. <laughs> I think I'd rather commit suicide. Not an option. Yeah, it's either would you rather screw Theresa May or clean up that place. Well. Yeah, clean up that yeah. place. <laughs> I've been a cleaner for years and I've seen worse, so. I've had to clean men's toilets. <laughs> I thought women's toilets were worse. Men shit in your urinals. They shit on the floor. I see women someone smear who, uh... blood on the fl- on the f- on the um yeah women and men are b- just as bad as each other. But then again, I actually uh, I actually went into a cubicle once and seen that somebody had actually like wiped it off and then stuck the toilet paper on the fucking side of the wall. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Chernobyl is fucking clean in that place, and, the, and that has not been touched in more than 20 years. You probably. <sighs> Man who claimed he sexually abused a three year old girl by accident mistook her for his wife in bed in jail for 50 years. Oh, fuck <laughs> off. Bullshit. How do you. Exactly, X to now. A West Virginia man who told police he sexually abused a three-year-old girl by accident must serve at least 50 years in prison before he's eligible for parole. He fucking... He, uh, does he think people are that fucking stupid that we don't know what he's actually... He's actually uh, I really... Yeah, we, I don't want yeah. really to live on this planet anymore. I really don't. If any aliens are watching this, can you please nuke us, please? Thank you very much. Yeah, just, just nuke us because... If we're not, you know, if it's some sort of experiment, please end it now. A West Virginia Mercer Circuit Court judge. What's a circuit court? Is that like a uh, minor circuit court? court? Is the it's the lower um, circuit court is the lower um, um, criminal. Ah, so we call them like sheriff courts. Okay. Does Derek Scope know the problems that the child could suffer later in life before sentencing 27 year old Harry Vincent Bennett of Bluefield to 25 to 100 years 
<clears throat> for each first degree sexual assault on Tuesday. Bluefield. Yeah, Bluefield. Oh God. Is that near you? Okay. I, no, it it's no, it's a good two hundred miles away yeah. from me, but um I will say, knowing what I know of the area of Bluefield, West Virginia, Princeton, West Virginia, Camp Creek, that whole county there, I'm not surprised. Um, the, the highest, unofficially the highest or the most common cause of death in that county is uh, meth lab explosions. Nah. Yeah, we're talking one whole county, one full set of teeth. <laughs> you know their family tree don't fork yeah but Rosie that's just fucking ridiculous though <sighs> judge convicted then of sexual assault and other charges in December while he repeated his confession that he mistook the toddler for a 24 year old wife is anyone seriously going to fucking believe that <clears throat> Well, yeah, so that three-year-old's got a major pituitary problem, or his wife's a dwarf. Yeah, that's what I was thinking when I saw this. <clears throat> so again, there's, there's no way you could fucking mistake a three-year-old for a fucking fully grown adult. No. No. <clears throat> <clears throat> Prosecutor said Bennett told detectives he mistook on the phone like, after he climbed into his bed. He knew exactly what he was doing, lying cunt. And if you did climb into your bed, you'd fucking know about it, wouldn't you? You'd fucking know that it wasn't your wife. He wouldn't know yeah. not your bed. I mean, my kid has invaded my bed many times, and uh, I don't think I would ever think that it was Pat. Like, yeah, you ever. would know. You would know if I it was Pat. I slept in our bed last night, all. Yeah. Venice lawyer said his admission to Bluefield Police was concurrent. Scoop says, "Swoop." Oh, no. Says Bennett will be in prison for the rest of his effective life. Well, good. Well, Vincent was convicted by a parent of sexual abuse by a parent and incest last year. It took Jerry less than thirty minutes. Of deliberation to come to the conclusion that he sexually assaulted a little girl after he confessed on the stand. <laughs> Bennett was arrested, was first arrested in, the, in February of 2018 after the toddler told family members <clears throat> and then state to our safety workers that she had been sexually abused. Well, how can the toddler know that? Young girl at one point, oh, fuck, fuck off, I'm not reading that. Evan. Well, that photo definitely you. confirms it. His wife does not, well, his wife has, may have a pituitary problem, but the daughter don't. Yeah, how can you confuse that for that? Like, no, no. Fuck you, I'm not believing you. Uh, fuck this guy, I'm not reading it any further. Cheetah gas. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Oh no, I'm not so sure just gas will be good enough. That area is coal mine country. How about we just find a shaft, toss his ass down in there? I can and get behind things, that. Those things run six, seven, eight hundred feet deep and have very little, <laughs> very little things to stop them. Until the very bottom. Oh, no jagged ends. Hmm? Nah, because he would die almost instantly if it was from a very high height. He would just pierce through him and just kill him instantly, so that's, that's, too, that's too kind. No, I'm on about him hitting all the edges before he hits the bottom. All that pain. Yeah, he'd probably die almost instantly depending on where it, where it, where it went through him. 
Like, if it went through his head, it would just kill him instantly. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, but, he, but at least he'd rattle, he'd rattle all against the walls all the way down. And even if he survived the fall, and there ain't nothing that says a stick of dynamite can't follow down behind him. <laughs> Just saying. It's running a fog. And tell me, because out there, no, I'm not going to find a game person than rubble them. I'm rolling a cigarette. No, you're really pissing me off. This whole pedophile thing is getting out of hand now. It's just, it's too many of them. Well, again, as like I say, I think it's like 24 hour news, like the internet and things like that. We see more of it. Mm. It's not necessarily more, it's just we see more of it than we used to. And plus, the, there's also a lot more news stories being covered as well. <clears throat> it used to be there was only like two or three channels. And there was like a limited number of news that got covered. Now you like pretty much all kinds of news get covered nowadays. Anyway, woman called nine 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 to say she paid the wrong amount for a squash in Morrison's. Oh my fucking giddy aunt. Really? Stupid bitch. For those who don't know Morrison's a supermarket in the UK. And they have rather good stuff for quite cheap. Well, I say that. So does I'm Aldi's. Yeah, I'm quite happy to advertise for them if they pay for me. If they're not paying for me, they can fuck off. They'll advertise for them on the stream. <clears throat> it was two for £1.20 or two for £1.50. And he's only giving me fruit and barley. Give me one fruit and barley, he tells the coal handler. I'm trying to eat smarter but I can't get fruit. They keep hanging up. Exactly, yeah, Rosie. It's for fucking emergencies, not for fucking juice. No, I think she's saying that she phoned Morrison's and they keep putting the phone down on her. No, she phoned the fucking... No, but that's just... Rosie's going, like, because she phoned 999. Stupid <laughs> cunt. You know, but I just wanted... This is not a police matter and it's certainly not a 999 emergency. This is a mistake on behalf of the shop. Just go and speak to the customer service about it. Exactly, see? This bitch is... This bitch be dumb. The <clears throat> uh, Formula Police is now reminding people to only use the number in emergencies. Superintendent... Superintendent Neil Hutchinson said, calls like these may seem harmless and even funny, but the background create huge demand on staff for working communication centre who could otherwise be dealing with genuine emergencies. Well, yeah. <laughs> okay, Tom. That's a cut on that is not I'm a goal say. He says he's going to join in like 20 to 30 minutes. <laughs> Hundreds of calls come into our communication centres every day. And we want to be able to deliver an outstanding service to everyone who gets in touch. We hope that the public can work with us to make sure these, un these people unfortunate enough to be involved in serious in incidents can receive police assistance as quickly as possible. Also said that we would also like to consider visiting our website. We have details of other agencies who may be appropriate to deal with your query. Yeah, don't fucking use 999 for stupid shit. Mm-hmm. I've been muted for the last 10 minutes. Good um, job. Just... That seems to be a theme today, Peter. Yes, yes. <laughs> <sighs> So, uh, what did this woman expect? The, the the emergency operator pick up the phone and go, that happened to me too. Let's get him. <laughs> Presumably. <laughs> the entitled fuckstick. Yeah, fucking cunt. 
Now time for some even worse cunts. Dog biscuits laced with nails found in Glasgow as owners warned to be vigilant. Oh god. Why would somebody do that? Because they're fucking skill. <clears throat> How can dog biscuits be laced with it? What do they do? Just spray nails on? I assume they just stuck needles in it. And hope uh, like dog owners wouldn't know this. People are getting stabbed in this country's complaining about 30p, yeah, exactly. <clears throat> the Scottish SPCA have launched an appeal for information after biscuits were found <clears throat> by a dog walker in the Harniston area. Yeah. <clears throat> so, yeah, they must have just like, stuck them in and hope people won't notice them. Dog owners are warned to be vigilant after biscuits, <coughs> which the nails were found in Glasgow. They just beat themselves. <coughs> two other separate incidents, are, two other similar incidents are said to have taken place in the area in the last 12 months. The SSPCA Inspector Vickery said, we are thankful the biscuits were found by a member of the public before an animal got hurt. Yeah. You wanking on my stream? Hmm? Who's wanking on my stream? No, it's no one's wanking on your stream, honey. I'm just uh, in the game, and I'm talking to you oh. at the same time. Wait, yeah, what do you mean by working? I mean wanking. Oh. Masturbating. If you're, to, if you're going to do that, then fucking at least mute yourself. <laughs> and definitely make sure it's not on camera. <laughs> <laughs> Got to your dirty minded git. <laughs> yeah, the person who discovered the torn up biscuit, the person who contacted us, torn up the biscuit, which were full of nails. This is the third instance of this kind in the last 12 months. <clears throat> it's a vulnerable and a deliberate attempt to harm or kill an animal. This is a criminal offence. <clears throat> there are notices in the area of dog owners to be aware of the issue. In the previous incident, Does everyone to be very different. It's just, uh, well, yeah, call that number if you see anything. And gee, you gas the person that done it. Cunts. I really do despair at humanity. Yeah, so do I. <sighs> McDonald's customer arrest after throwing hot coffees at worker through drive through window. Oh, fucking hell. <clears throat> mm. Who does that, though? It's as bad as that woman who climbed through... Um... Uh, through the, you know, the window at the drive-in. Oh. She was stoned off her face. She thought she was from Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> oh. I'd like to smash the nails. Let's smash those nails and see people who do stuff like this. Yeah, agreed, Rosie. <clears throat> uh, one McDonald's customer is headed to court after throwing two coffees in the face of a worker through a drive through window. Uh, Cleveland location. <laughs> uh, the fast food. You laughing at that or something else? Oh, something else. Somebody just randomly sent me. Do you know that you can easily recycle dog and pat cat poop? Please send it to, and then they have the address for the Westboro Baptist Church. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> anyway, sorry. Continue. <laughs> You know, it's actually quite typical. It, it's not surprising, Scotty, that this happened in Ohio. Why is that? Just the way it, it, it 
just the story of it that it, she threw two coffees through the window at the employee. <coughs> right. I see. I've had that happen up here. Mm hmm. Well, at the Tim Hortons, whenever you get a cranky customer and they really are like all pissed off that day and they'll throw their coffee at you. This is why we should hate people. People fucking suck. Mm hmm. That's a, and that's a waste of perfectly good coffee, too. I know. Like, I've had hot coffee chucked at me at the window before. So that's why they, um, Canada has like these little cement blocks to make the car be like a little bit farther away from the window just in case. So maybe you have reaction time, but really it's hot liquids you're going to get it thrown at you. <laughs> There's no amount of anger that can be in my heart to make me waste a perfectly good cup of coffee. Yes, thank you. Authorities have arrested Chase Joseph DeLuca in connection with the 19th of February assault, which was caught on surveillance camera, Fox 8 reports. According to the outlet of the female Mickey D staffer initially handed the, <coughs> to the two cup there were the two cups of coffee in one cup holder to DeLuca before looking at the order on screen and realizing the man had ordered one cup of coffee. So he's complaining about getting one cup of coffee for free then, essentially. One day you got fucking two for the price of one. Why are you complaining? <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't be complaining about that. We're just, fucking delighted. Or just, excuse me, only one of these cups of coffee is mine. <sighs> Hello, Max Burns. <laughs> what breed of madman would throw hot coffee at an American? Another American, clearly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have guns. <laughs> That pr proves we have guns. Don't piss us off. Now that would be currently fuck. Yeah, that didn't sound right to me either. Yeah, fuck. Come on. Asking the seizure receipt to verify the seizure receipt to verify the transaction. The fifty year old the 54 year old man was reportedly laughing and insisted he indeed ordered two cups of coffee. The woman who was working alone in her drive through station <clears throat> continued to insist she needed to see the bill, but prompting the angry DeLuca to step outside his vessel, toss the cups of coffee in her face before driving away. Yes. The woman was rushed to hospital to see first degree burns, which was sustained on her neck and shoulder in the assault Fox 7 and Fox 8 reports. She continues to cover for her injuries at home. <clears throat> yeah, Max Vance says that's quite true. When the whole world has a gun, no one has a gun. When the whole world has hot coffee, no one has hot coffee. That doesn't make sense. We need common sense coffee control. Yes. Same as in a wrench in a state that fucking wrench is meaningless. It means nothing if everyone else has one. It has no power. I need some coffee. Now, for my chat, proves that guns work. If you pull around, I need some coffee. As for the looker, the man now faces two charges of felonious assault. And as during court next month, if he is convicted, he could face up to eight years in prison. Fucking hell. Or he, did, to he did burn a bitch with coffee. Eight years in prison? Sure, go for it. Hmm. What's troubling with a case like this is you have someone who is going to work just to do their job, pay their bills, to make ends meet. Assistant for and county prosecution, Erin Stone, said of the news. She asked if to see the receipt, and, angry, <clears throat> and this angers him immensely, and he throws cups of coffee at her. Really, that's what you get in the Netherlands for murder. Oh, well, it, it burned her up, so, you know. Eh. Scott's ban from taking haggis to the US has strained 
just forbidden items across the road that are all revealed. <laughs> <laughs> Twice before taking chewing gum into Singapore and mix inhalers into Japan, you could land yourself in a heap of trouble. I don't want haggis now. I shouldn't have done this. Travelers are often you can bring to... you can bring Ill illegal aliens to America, but don't you dare bring a haggis or a Kinder Egg. No, you you, you dare do that. You're you're fucked. Mm. Sorry about that, guys. Phone died on me. Hello. Right. Hello. All right. Oh, you can hear me. Okay. Whew. Oh, we can't hear you at all. Oh, funny. Uh, no one's just warning against things like drugs, weapons, explosive items, liquids, <coughs> exceeding the power amount of plastics around airports. But with these are all this fast approaching, uh, many may seem surprised to discover they could get in trouble for carrying what could be classed as everyday items in certain countries. Experts at mybaggers.com have revealed. I said, is these all? only in Scotland, or does England have them as well? Say what? Don't know. Well, you would know. You're English. You should know. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while since I've been in the airport. So I do with airports. I'm asking if like the schools have Easter holidays. I've only just joined, so I didn't hear the whole story, honey. I'm asking if schools in England have Easter holidays as well as schools in Scotland. Yeah, they do. Uh, you go, see, simple question. All right. Because I know we have different education systems, that's why I was wondering. Anyway. Uh, chewing gum, for example, has been banned in Singapore since 1992. After the previous five minutes, I know much, how, much money, how much money was being spent cleaning chewing gum off the streets. Uh, hello, Lindsay. Hello, Lindsay. Hey, Lins. It's so prohibited to this day. <clears throat> Unless for medical necessity. Streets and monuments are now gum-free. <clears throat> and someone is found to be in possession of it. This is a substantial fine and being named in shame by the local government. What I don't understand is I've never actually seen anyone stick chewing gum on things. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah, have. The, it, yeah, it's fucking everywhere. Huh. Absolutely. Yes. Like, who the fuck is doing that? Who the fuck is taking chewing gum everywhere? Uh, everybody. You know, when I used to work at uh, Asda, I used to have like, the great job of uh, going around with this um, scraper thing and getting all the gum off the floor, and there was fucking tons of it. Nice. That's, that's, a, that's our equivalent of Walmart. Yeah, as is owned by Walmart. Mm. I can understand the possible quarantine issue with importing meat, but if haggis is being sick down, then the US quarantine can go fuck itself. They agreed. <laughs> <laughs> they racist. <laughs> So I guess that's what happens when you churn gum loses its flavor on the pet post overnight. Ew. Ugh. I'm surprised, like, chewing gum that doesn't lose its flavor isn't a thing yet. Still, come on, it's 2019, people. <laughs> I was expecting, like, flying cars and shit by now. <laughs> you know, it's, it's, it's 2019. Willy Wonka had this shit down in the 60s. He had it down in 1971 or something, did he not? He was, he was, he was way better. They haven't been even been able to give us a reliable hoverboard yet. Exactly. Come on, man. Uh, but watching those hoverboard fail videos is awesome. They're not even hoverboards, though. They have wheels. Well, did you turn the heat yeah. I think it's we we not. I don't. I don't class them as hoverboards. They have wheels. Hmm. It's supposed to flow. Those little things are segways without handles. That's all those are. Exactly, yeah. 
sideways skateboards, pretty much. But then they sell, yeah, they're segways without handles. But then they sell handles for them. What? Then that's just a segway. That's already existed for yeah. quite a while. Uh, equally as bizarre, we can pick inhalers are outlawed in Japan due to country's strict anti stimulant drug laws. <laughs> Any drugs containing whatever that says are banned, and carrying the inhaler can land you in prison. <laughs> that's, a lot to deal with. that's a lot to deal with. Someone who was trying to get over a cold. Maybe try some essential oils instead. Mm. <laughs> and uh, Richard's going about the automatic oh, self lacing shoes as well. Yeah. The thing is, they, they did actually bring them out there, didn't they? Mm. they? They do have self lacing shoes now, yeah. The thing is, they were going to win them as a prize, but it was only the US and Canada, wasn't it? Didn't do it anywhere else. Mm, not like Japan, probably. No, they did uh, they, for like the twenty for like the uh, Back to the Future Day thing. I think they did a prize thing for it, oh. and it was only in the U.S. and Canada. No comment. Yeah, dirty fucking North American cunts. All I can say is I hope somebody from Quebec didn't win. That's all I'll say. <laughs> but one item that sure. Although I love how you say Quebec, you say Quebec. Yep, that's how it's spelled. <laughs> I'm gonna pronounce it like that. <laughs> and don't you say Quebec as well? No, we say Quebec. It's Quebec, clearly. Quebec. Quebec. Well, they're yeah, annoying and annoys them. So fuck them, quite frankly. I'm I'm About. happy to literally pronounce their name around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, boot. All right, Birmingham. What? Bro. Hey, you taking a piss out of me? I ain't done nothing. Well, considering you can't say Quebec, I might as well just, you know, Edinburgh. Quebec. Yeah, so you can't say it right either. It's Quebec. Quebec. Yeah, it's there you Quebec. Go. I've always said oh, it was out. Quebec. Yeah, no, it's Quebec. <sighs> Richard, I literally got Q in his name. I'm with Scotland. See, someone agrees with me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there, Edinburgh. <clears throat> but it's not <sighs> it's, right. All right, blind girl. It's not the same thing because Ed, Edin, Edinburgh. Is spelled exactly like that. Yeah, well, we would have called it Edinburgh, so you know. Yeah, but you would have pronounced it incorrectly then, wouldn't you? Oh, you mean kind of like Quebec? Yeah, exactly. No, because Quebec is how it's spelled. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, oh shit, Miss Sarah. Oh, Jesus. That's why, you know what? If it pisses off Quebec, say it Quebec, fine, go for it. But it's still wrong. Yeah, she's a right little troll, eh? <laughs> Don't get me started, eh? <clears throat> Europeans. I'm not sure what we're arguing about. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I couldn't tell you, could I? How the fuck am I supposed to care now? See? Don't understand me, do you? <laughs> but one thing that sure has got up in arms. <clears throat> Is that a that? <clears throat> Fucking hell. As if they didn't already know about it. Traditional haggis has been banned in the US for 44 years. The US Department of Agriculture banned the import of British lamb following the <clears throat> outbreak of bad cow disease. It's Quebec. Exactly, see? How are you? All right, Tom. Uh, how are you? Hi, Tom. Yeah, not bad. If I if I disappear, I'll just mute my um thing. Grandma's just doing her morning stuff. All right. 
Okay. Ah, no worries. <coughs> Quebec. What? Who pronounces it Quebec? That's just wrong. It's Quebec. Uh, the Maritimers. You mean the places from? Oh, you mean the people from Newfoundland? Yeah, Newfoundland, Nova Scotia, New Brunswick. New Brunswick. Prince Edward Island. <laughs> they they all go at Quebec. Yeah. Many retailers have opted to replace the corn ingredient of sheep lung in order to in order to break into the American market. Actually, to be fair, yeah. Actually, to be fair, Lindsay's got a point there. How do you sell quiet? How do you say quiet then? Quiet. Quiet. Well, I try. Anyway, I'm really arguing about a Canadian <laughs> province <laughs> name with Canadian. It's still fucking Quebec, right? This is just exactly. <sighs> you're arguing with a Scottish guy. You're not going to get anywhere. This <laughs> stupid as hell, honey. Dude, this could go on all day. This could go on all fucking day. <laughs> we, could right actually, we could actually Fuck. find him several, several. Um, citations that he's wrong and he'd still no, no, no. I'm... <laughs> you guys don't know how to speak French anyway, so eh. I did French for six years, still can't speak it. So, <laughs> there you go. Uh, bonjour, it's it's really Deutsch. Come on, Gabriel. That's Jerry. Sorry to I know, I know. Just, I know a foreign language. Huh? Sorry to buddy in, but I'm, I'm with Max Bance. He goes, isn't Quebec French? And therefore, who gives a fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Correct, Max. I suppose that could be a right answer. Maybe. Yeah, yeah Lindsay says, you think it's bad, but Scotty said, you should hear, you should hear me try to pronounce cities in the UK. Yeah, like Edinburgh yeah, and Birmingham, Leicester, Dumfries. <laughs> Dumfries. <laughs> <laughs> All right, how do y'all pronounce it? Dumfries. How do y'all pronounce it? Dumfries. Yeah, Dumfries in the south of Scotland. Yeah, you know, there's a town in Virginia named Dumfries that. Most people just don't pronounce the S at the end, mm. but they just call it dumb free. Ah, here's one then. Here's one. Here's one closer to me. Is it Berry or Burry? Berry. Burry. I've always said Berry. Berry. B U R Y. Berry. He's got a Burry's Bay. But it's it's spelled Berry's Bay, like B E R R, but it's Burry's Bay. How do we end up getting to how places are pronounced? Well, it's you guys happen. fucked up Quebec. You've got three no, people. No, sweetheart. People... Quebec fucked itself up. Yeah. <laughs> people from three continents, you're not going to um, agree on the pr pronunciation of words. Put it that way. Yeah, no one here has got, no one here has got the same accent as any of the others. So, What happens when you get a diverse stream? you got a bunch of dumbasses on it. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry, we're yeah. not, oh, sorry we're not part of the Canadian fucking master race. <laughs> hey, banned baby walkers. Yeah, see, Kyle. Baby walkers are banned from being sold in Canada. Being sold and imported to Canada due to health reasons. Yeah, well, because idiot parents would let babies go on baby walkers and watch them in front of the stairs. <laughs> sorry, I shouldn't laugh for that. That's, That's actually what happened. We would put babies in the baby walkers with wheels, and the babies would go down the goddamn stairs. So they banned them in Canada because babies are falling down the stairs. I bet that was from Quebec done that. Then it was. Uh. <laughs> when my wife and I had our son, they made sure we would net, we would promise, or they would make sure we understood: do not put your child in a walker and let it go anywhere near the stairs. We told them that's fine, except there's no stairs in the house. They said, "Well, just be careful. Be you know careful." Stairs. Like, I'll find them. 
tried to make the baby walkers so big that they wouldn't fit in the uh like in in, in between the frames to go down the stairs but it it didn't stop them <laughs> Once did the Pennines say it? You're away to the rest of the. Oh, is this Berry Burry again? Yes, Berry. Do you say Shrewsbury or Shrewsbury? Um, Shrewsbury. See, well, you pronounce it correctly then. Yeah. Because there's clearly an E in there. Ah, but people from Shrewsbury say Shrewsbury. Well, that's incorrect though, because it's clearly E. There's an E, not an O. You guys suck. Yeah, well. <sighs> Master in Saudi Arabia, wheelbarrows are banned in Nigeria. <laughs> Why do you fucking think? <laughs> I, I, I really don't know. <laughs> Nigeria has placed restrictions on many imports, including wheelbarrows. It must have dismayed many green fingered travelers. <laughs> The bill was placed in order to encourage a thriving domestic economy. However, you can purchase wheelbarrows once in the country from a local merchant. Okay. Wow, their wheelbarrow, their wheelbarrow industry must be through, must be thriving. <laughs> Who comes to <laughs> fucking Nigeria to do gardening? <laughs> Who goes to fucking Nigeria? Full stop. Well. <laughs> my wife should answer that question princes mainly isn't it I can tell you this cooking garden in Nigeria I can tell you that much yes that's what I was thinking <laughs> I'm going to nick the wheelbarrow by now probably <laughs> Japanese shaving brushes they're banned in St. Lucia but no one gives a fuck about them the hell is shaving. To be fair, if that if that garden was in Nigeria, there'd be piles of dead child soldiers everywhere. Uh... Honey is banned in Zimbabwe. <laughs> <laughs> but they can afford it even if they had it, so it's not kind of no point in it may as well ban it, no one else can afford it. Right, I'll be back in a second, pal. Chaps. And chapettes. Uh huh. Sorry, Tom. <laughs> Dick. Oh, what did you say? I just got back. <laughs> I'll leave for one minute and he's paying me out already. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there you go. Some more oracles. Do 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 no, this is not a shark. This is a whale area, not a shark area. Sorry. Peter just pissed me off. Oh, hail blue whale. Right clever. Yeah. Yeah, that was it. Dick. I'm traveling <laughs> from 1945. Pauses lie detector test. Names future US president. Okay. Well. A self proclaimed time travel appeared to pass a lie detector test. As he sensationally claimed that aliens would visit Earth in the near future. Well, that's not. Come on, anyone could say that it's going to happen eventually. I mean, it's the fucking Daily Star, though. I mean, dude. <laughs> Very low hanging fruit here. This is. The Daily Mail full of bullshit. He, I mean, all that lie detector test means that he believes it versus whether he would be lying. So that just means he believes this delusion. Do you feel better? I think there's too many. Uh, there's too many. Um, Variables when it comes to lie detector test. That's why they don't hold up in court. The only thing, the only thing, lie de passing the lie detector proves is that he remained calm through the entire thing. That's it. Yep. That's all. Yeah. Or he honestly believed. 
No, it's just that he remained him. calm. He could be he could be lying as long as he's calm about it, it doesn't matter. I mean I he said could believe his own bullshit. Me. So the only people who could pass those kind of like uh, tests are usually sociopaths or um, composite lawyers. I think he's both, to be honest. They still use polygraph as a reliable form of lie detection. There is a reason to why it is inadmissible. Has evidence? No shit. Yeah. Uh, the shocking video uploaded to conspiracy YouTube channel Apex TV showed so it interviews question so it interviewers question Adam Arkin while he was hooked up to a lie detector test. He claimed to be from the year twenty forty five and revealed predictions about the future before the word through flashed upon the screen. Awesome. Adam said, I need to prove to you this is true. So you can take the information that I'm giving you to make the world a better place. And you guess this is true. Aliens did land on Earth in August 2028. And... In fact, we have known the existence of aliens before 2028. But it isn't until 2028 that becomes public knowledge. Okay. okay. When asked about time travel, Adam said it became public knowledge in the same year. And it had been used since 1981. And once again, the word through flashed on the screen. Yeah, but it could just, it could just be very calm during the whole thing. The thing is, is there's certain like um, neural reactions. So if it, the person is lying, knows they're lying, then um, it's going to show on the um, lie detector. But as I said before, sociopaths and compulsive liars are the only ones who can seem to control that. You live in an arms killer. I'm going to tell you who your your the king is. He wanted. Name who we believe will come the next president of the US, namely Lolanda King, the granddaughter of Martin Luther King. Names echo that of Noah Novak, self acclaimed time traveler who, who named Lolanda as the future president of the US. So he must be up to some of these two. I remember covering that guy last week. Mm. The one he says from twin, um, 2028 or something like that. Yeah, the guy who said we'd have cities under the water and stuff like that. Yeah. They need I think they people need help. <laughs> yeah, this, this is why this is why we used to we used to be like this in asylums. What happened to that? <laughs> but some fans of the conspiracy channel rubbished Adam's claims. One commentator said, This guy is insane. He believes all and believes his lies, then the lie detector won't detect he's lying. Exactly. Another, ad, another added, why are you showing up the laptop screen to us? That is the actual application of lie detector test. <coughs> there was result. Have you ever tipped in? Don't see anyone giving him actual lie detector. This list has zero credibility. Even a lie detector would have zero credibility as well. True. Sure. Yeah, all right. That is that is mine. I patent that. No, it's always a different tune, you don't. My thing. The thing that I do. You, Tom. Uh, Britain's oldest police officer, 74, chases down 29-year-old suspect and arrests him after flee 
after he fled on foot following a high speed car chase. Oh, uh, yeah, that's yeah, good on him, I see. <laughs> Fair play, I'm so good at that age. <clears throat> Britain's oldest police officer has won praise for after, sus- after arresting a suspect after a high speed chase on foot. <clears throat> Special Constable Keith, Keith Smith, fucking Daily Mail. No, oh, Lindsay, no one was, no one was uh, one about Ghostbusters. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Did someone mention Ghostbusters? <laughs> of course, now you pay attention. No, we do not want the steam taken down. You do that, you're getting muted. And you're not getting on muted again. Oh. <laughs> Who's threatening to take the stream down? They probably will know Ghostbusters music, that's who. What? Anyway, anyway, moving on. <laughs> Special Constable T- Keith Smith, 74, took down 29-year-old suspect Paul Tate after a dramatic place through residential gardens in Benfleet, Essex, on Tuesday this week. S.C. Smith was driving a marked police car after when he attempted to stop the driver near the town. The driver sped off, and S.C. Smith was forced into a high-speed chase. After the follow, after following the speeding car for miles, the suspect jumped, jumped out of the car, turned down, fled to flee through the gardens, flee through several gardens. S.C. Smith didn't give up the chase, and managed to catch him with the suspect to detain him. And the force, the forces road policing unit until. Unit tweeted, despite being 74 year old, he engaged in not only a pursuit, but a food chase, detaining the suspect in the gardens of a nearby house. Uh, he doesn't look very happy about it, though, does he? No. Oh, he's dead. Just his face, I think, at that age. <laughs> he's just he's so he's old, gonna... he just doesn't. How unfit of a criminal do you have to be to get caught by a 74 year old, though? It could just be he's very fit for his age, but I mean, he must still be mm. quite fit for his age because he's still going, you know what I mean? No, too. Yeah. But then, yeah, the guy must be quite unfit, though. <laughs> Maybe he was just really fat. I don't know. <laughs> Essex Police Constable BJ Harrington hailed S.C. Smith as an inspiration to us all. S.C. Smith has dedicated the last 20 years of fighting crime with Essex Police. Has given up over two thousand. given over two thousand hours in volunteer work in the last year alone. Right now, <clears throat> it's not the first time the veteran police officer has hit the headlines. However, he was praised last August after having an elderly driver who fell ill at the wheel. <clears throat> Paul Tate, twenty nine of no fix address, had been charged with driving while disqualified without a driving license, <clears throat> without insurance. Not failing to stop on the harassment. He is due to he's due to South End Majesty's today. Yeah, fair play to the guy. <laughs> what are you in for? Uh seventy four year old bastard caught me. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. <coughs> you can do it. Run with it. Run. Run, faster man, run, run, he needs to take a break, run. Oh, damn. All right, um... Run faster. 74, 74 year old cop just looks at him, starts to stretch and goes, why are you running? <laughs> why are you gay? <laughs> anyway, let's not get arrested. I've already, after the last stream, I'm trying to be careful here. <laughs> That, you mean that one you took down? Yeah, that'll never see the light of day again, that stream. Yeah. So yeah, the numbers right, this is episode 13, because episode 12 was an absolute shit show. <laughs> Woman who doesn't yeah. feel pain. <clears throat> Joe Cameron only realises his skin is burning when she spells stinging flesh. She often burns her arms in the oven, but feels no pain to warn her. 
That's because she's only one of the two people in the world to have a, de- to have a rare genetic <laughs> mutilation. It means she feels virtually no pain. Never feels anxious or afraid. It wasn't until she was 65 she realized she was different. When doctors couldn't, be- couldn't believe she didn't need painkillers after a serious operation. I feel like this could be a good thing and a bad thing at the same time. Oh, that's a terrible thing. Pain is supposed to be a warning sign. Oh, does she she not feel pain or does she not feel anything? I think she just doesn't feel pain, I think. So what level does it stop? Does she stop feeling? That'd be interesting to find out. I don't know. Maybe we don't find out. Well, that's supposed to be an Indian accent. What Indian accent? Yes, sir. Yeah. When she had surgery on her hands. I mean, I was, when I was doing the run with it. Run. Yeah, that was Indian. Welcome to tech support. May I take it? <laughs> I'm going to show up now. Turn off and turn back on your machine. Is it plugged in? I'm going to disavow myself. <laughs> disavow. Disavow all you. All you disavow. My ex is not for your amusement. Hey, arms killer, don't worry, Scotsman. If the police saw all the shit I said, I would be locked up for life. Well, so would I. Have you seen the stuff I say in chat? <laughs> See the fucking shit I say in the fucking blood stream chat? Fucking hell. <laughs> must be well and truly fucked if I, if I ever see the light of day. Ah, uh, don't worry. They got GoFundMe for your bail. No one's laughing at that. She had surgery on her right hand. The doctors warned she would expect pain afterwards. When she felt nothing, <clears throat> her anesthesiast, Dr. Foreign Foreign, sent her to pain genetics at University College London and Oxford University. After the test, they found gene mutilations, which meant she did not feel pain like most people. Joe from Whitebridge near Inverness told BBC Scotland News website, the doctors didn't believe me one night when she said I wouldn't feel pain after surgery. She said we had banner in the theatre, but I guaranteed, when I guaranteed I wouldn't need painkillers. What the fuck was that? I knocked my bike over again. <laughs> You're drunk. Let's just do an AMS ASMR stream, why not? Yeah, that's a good idea. Speak nice and slowly into the mic. Yeah. <laughs> and now, drunk. donate to Scotsman Stream Labs. Nice. I think that voice would only work on Brit. Oh, hail, blue whale. Oh, there we go. That's a little better. <laughs> that's that's me sickened for the evening. Fuck off. Dick. Yeah, see, yeah, that was even more sickening than the fucking the story we had earlier about the people who don't clean the house. <laughs> what? No. Yeah. No. Yeah, no. I don't know. Now, Chloe's just voicing her opinion on the uh, women who can't feel pain. That's what she's doing. You want some painkillers, Chloe? Yeah. Want some painkillers? No? I think Chloe doesn't feel pain either. What, did she just kick her? That's probably a good thing having you as an owner, to be fair. <laughs> I just I just kind of poked her, and I'm like, hey, you want some painkillers? Want some painkillers? And she just sat there like, please, touch me more. <laughs> Well, she's exactly like her owner. I mean... Yeah? Yeah? Want some pickles? What's pickles? Tom Gossie. Don't worry, Scott and Peter. I'm trying to hold on. Hold off coming till bedtime. <laughs> What is that noise? 
the trucks. How do you guys not know these noises by now? Every single time truckers doing stuff with the truck, it makes the same noise. And every time you guys are like, "What's that noise?" And I'm like, "The truck. It's yeah. the truck." Truckers truck. <laughs> well, Tom, if you left the if you left the argument, uh, Richard. No, no, no. I just mean I just had to. I just oh. left for about five minutes. That's all. Back now. I'm back for good now. Sorry. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Not that, even though the show is nearly over, but... Yeah, the show probably end about 10 minutes before a blind girl stream starts. Ah, oh, fuck. Yeah, that's right. i got to stream sometime today. Fuck, I forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, I do stream. Yeah, you should probably schedule that. Uh, yeah, I'm just like, wait, what time is it? I'm actually checking the clock now. I'm like, what? Yeah, it's about uh, 20, 20 minutes before seven. you stream. Yeah, it's oh, 40 okay. minutes before your stream starts. All right, so I can still be lazy for a bit. We're good. Don't worry, I'll just send you all the articles I don't end reading. So I'll do. Yes! I like I'll not doing work. Send you all the rejects. <laughs> <laughs> send, her the, send her those couple I posted up today. You may dig, she may dig one of those. Well, I already sent her one because I was looking at Canadian news and I thought Canadian news isn't interesting. I'll just send it to her. Ah, oh, God. Okay. She's the one that's scared about Canadian news. Fucking mm-hmm. British Columbia, too. It's just. Uh... Is it more moose? <laughs> Uh, no, I wish. <sighs> That's when she was referred to as specialist in England. Once I know, Joe realized she wasn't just incredibly care- she was she wasn't just as incredibly healthy as she believed. <sighs> Looking back, I realized I hadn't needed painkillers, but if you don't need them, you don't you, you don't question why you don't. Yeah, <laughs> you are what you are until someone points out you don't question it. I was just a happy soul who didn't realize there was anything different about me. Okay. <laughs> what? No. It, some will go say, can I ask, how the fuck did you think this was blind girls? To you? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I just said. Dude, it. I, I mean, you know, I, it's... He must Hormone. be tired. He must be tired. He heard the voice and thought, "Oh, it's blind girls." <laughs> I've suddenly turned into a man. Fuck, fuck yeah. sleep. Yeah, I know you feel that way though. Yeah, my sleep pattern's fucked as well. Thinking we suddenly up for the rest of the night again. I had a nap again today. Stop doing Get that. Yeah. Okay. I slept in until 3 in the afternoon today, randomly, and uh, I was kind of freaked out because I went to bed at like a decent hour, and I woke up at 3 in the afternoon, and I was like, what the fuck happened? Okay, no need to make, okay, don't need to make people jealous, Bob. <laughs> I only had five hours sleep. Uh, I don't even remember how long it was, but I could still use a nap right now. Really? 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 I just... Too late now. Right now. Well, there's U5 chatting news badly. It could be either. <laughs> yeah, but still, I mean, come on. It clearly isn't the same. It's just feeling to read the news. This isn't blind chucking. <laughs> I know it's the same people. I know it's the same people on the stream, and more or less the same people who watch the stream. But still, you know, <laughs> they're. they're <laughs> Yeah, the same people and the same audience. It is essentially the same stream, then. <laughs> it's, it's the Scottish version and the Canadian version, basically. Yeah, and I mean, you know, Scotty has that real manly Scottish voice. I don't know how you could mix it up for mine. Maybe because you're on the stream. But I'm the one leading the stream, so it doesn't make sense. Damn it, Tom. You've messed us all up now. <clears throat> Is he still but there? I can see why you were confused, because it's the same scene. And by it's, the way, Tom, I'm not on Blind Girls stream, so there. Yeah. yeah, most of the time it's the same, literally the same people and the same audience as well. Dedication. <laughs> uh, you guys stream after I get out of work, so that makes me happy. Well, at least someone's happy here. <laughs> glad you enjoy that. Glad we see you after you finish work, Lindsay. 
just said, looking back, I hadn't realised I needed painkillers, as I've already read that. Didn't even feel pain during childbirth. Recalling it was just strange. I didn't feel pain. It was really quite enjoyable. <laughs> enjoyable. No, it is not enjoyable. She couldn't feel pain. Her, her it was just like having a calm shit, I guess. <laughs> How do you not think there's something wrong with you if you can say childbirth is somewhat enjoyable? Like at that point, I call ex to death that she didn't think there's something wrong. How old is she? She's in her sixties, I think. Oh yeah, she's probably had enough of life. That's yeah. <laughs> was at the point at which you don't care anymore. Yeah, I've been like that for like that ten age. years now. Yeah. Damn. Joe wouldn't change anything, but she thinks it's important and says, pain is there for a reason. It warns you. You hear alarm bells. I mean, yeah, exactly. I mean, anyway, I can understand it might be a good thing, but I can also see why it's a bad thing. It's a very bad thing. So how are you supposed to know something's wrong with you? You know, you know, the, the, I'd have to sh- take up to that one statement. <laughs> pain is your way of hearing alarm bells. And it will be a little more literally. Pain, pain is the way of hearing. What the fuck a doodle do was that? There was some guy screaming in pain. How did you not know, Britt? No, I mean, I know it is, but fuck me, that was loud. I mean, I'm sure you hear the same thing every time Peter pees, so you know. Oh. <laughs> uh, Lindsay, yeah. Scott's going to Chili Towns. Look, I like spicy food. But you care about my See. intestinal jack and my anus. So that's the no from me. I'd give it a go. You know, the worst part is I took my headset off and held it far away from me when I did that. And it did nothing. Good job. Yeah, well. <sighs> it would be nice to have warning when something's wrong. But I didn't know my hip was gone until it was really gone. I couldn't physically walk with my arthritis. <laughs> there you go. Doctors believe she might be able to heal more quickly than normal. It's a particular combination of genes which also makes her forgetful and less anxious. <clears throat> Called the happy gene or forgetful gene. <clears throat> I've been annoying people by, happy and for- by being happy and forgetful my whole, all my life. I've got an excuse now, she says. She's never felt pain. But yeah, I mean, yeah. But then if you've never felt pain, how can you know what true happiness is? Deep, Scotsman, that's deep. <laughs> it's just far too deep for this stream, isn't it? Yeah, I was going to say. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> that's deep. Sweet to my potentially drunk stream on Sunday. Huh. Drunk stream. What have you got planned? You were drunk? Well, Sunday's, really? the, uh, Sunday's the old firm game, so I'm going to get drunk and they might go home and stream after it. <laughs> Sweet. It's not, not going to be a proper like, reading the news, it will just be like a bullshit and drink stream, basically. You must disavow yourself right now <laughs> in advance because I think you'd be too drunk to care. Oh, hang on. Did you say old firm? <laughs> yeah, the old firm's on Sunday. Ah, uh, Celtic will smash him, and you'll be in a really fair mood. Yeah, that's why I'm just going to drink. I mean, I'm going to drink to be happy. I drink to down my sorrows. Either way, I'm getting drunk. So <laughs> I don't care. I'm off for the next two weeks. I can do what I like now. I gotta say, that's awesome right there. Gray-haired snake says, "Ha ha! Hear scream! Jump back to Trucker's channel. Stream is frozen and buffering for ten seconds. Oh crap!" <laughs> it's on all the time. And at a 45 degree angle. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> you may also like the autistic and oh, no. conquering the autistic man conquering mountains defo in Scott's stream. Really? I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Uh, anyway, um, so yeah, she can't feel pain. Uh, 
Uh, it had to have ruined a lot of relationships of hers, especially when that come. It was especially when it comes to the whole, Daddy, I have to be punished. Well, it didn't say she didn't feel any emotions. It just said she couldn't feel pain. Right. So. So it could just what be a happens constant state. Her husband can't spank her. <laughs> Filthy trucker. Filthy boy. Yes, sir. Oh, every minute God. of every day. That's my. Yes, you are. I'm just throwing a fog So, how about those Celtics? Celtic. You don't call them Celtics. That's a, that's a basketball team. You mean those dirty fucking stinking Fenian bastards? You mean that? Hey, he's up. He's up, cunt. He's up. <laughs> <laughs> Are we talking about the same team Celtics as I'm thinking? Celtics is no. Nah, Celtics is basketball. Celtic is with don't with no S is football. Yeah, that's just that's thinking. And then there's those filthy pricks called the Rangers. Not the hockey Rangers, the football Rangers. Okay, wait till Sunday. Wait till Sunday. We'll do this shit on Sunday. <laughs> get awake by then, which you probably will be. If it's Sunday, that means Monday my time, doesn't it? Monday in the morning. No, it should be Sunday night, I think, well, very no, okay. early in the morning. Yeah, for, yeah, for you. Uh, I see, yeah, Sunday night should be, uh, the, the game's at 12 my time on Sunday, so it should be... Uh, oh, that's about... Half 10 30 morning for you. Yeah. 10 30, 10 30 my time at night time, yeah. 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 Rangers, clearly Rangers. I mean, come on, Lindsay. I just said. <laughs> All right, you guys are going on an adventure with me again because apparently Fishing Guy is here to take me to the drugstore. So, yay, you guys get to go on an adventure with me. <laughs> Woo! Yay! This could be really fast because uh, I got 30 minutes that I got to get back here for the stream. So I'm like, dude, you're cutting this really short, damn it. Like I said, I'll just give you all my rejects. Tell Fish and Guy he ain't going nowhere if, you didn't, if he didn't bring some coffee. Oh, mm. he's going to bring some coffee. It's so going to happen. Matter of fact, you might even get to hear me telling the, the, guy, the guy at the Tim Hortons how much I love him for coffee. <laughs> and hope to get free coffee. Is that why? Probably, yeah. Something like that. I like to schmooze for coffee. To be honest, you want a free coffee. That's what you're doing, isn't it? Fucking right. Who doesn't well, want a free you, coffee? If you really want to use the blindness thing, face the other way at the counter when you order. <laughs> it, well, I'll be in a truck, so I don't really think that's possible. But, you know. Hey, I can pretend to drive the truck and be like, I won't run people over if you give me free coffee. <laughs> <laughs> or you could just drive a truck with a big experience for fishing, guy. Like that. Uh, Venezuela crisis. Guy no barn from office for fifteen years. Oh, well, Venezuela's fucked, then, aren't they? You're more fucked than they are. Uh, Venezuela, you've opposition leader Guan Guy, though. We barred from holding further public office for 15 years. The maximum allowed by law, the state financial controller has announced. Composer Elvis Avaruso. Comptroller Elvis Avaruso. Said Mr. Geiger's personal and financial statements contained inconsistencies. Well, and you're cutting yours, don't know. Fucking hyperinflation. No, I did. I think it's from past hyperinflation. Is it like one million percent inflation at this point? That's super Saiyan inflation. <laughs> I put it's fucking Zimbabwe is shape. <laughs> Something like it costs more to it cost the value of the paper and ink that the that the money's printed on is worth more than the value of the money on the face. 
Mr. Guerra heard the opposition control of National Assembly declared himself interim president in January. <coughs> he has support more than 50 countries, including the US. BBC's Will Grant in the Venezuelan capital, Caracas, says the decision to stop Mr. Guerrero from holding office would come into force if he declared himself for re election at the current end of his term in the National Assembly. Assembly. Uh, Mr. Guido rejected Mr. Amoruso's announcement, saying he was not the general or he was not honored to general. Legitimate Congress is the only one the power to designate an auditor general, he said. Last week, Mr. Guido's chief staff, Robert Barrero, 49, was accused of plotting acts of sabotage against officials after being arrested. <clears throat> Mr. Venezuela's interior minister, minister, interior minister, Nestor Reverol, Reverol, foreign, said <clears throat> the weapons in foreign currency were found by intelligence services during a raid on his own. Mr. Guido said security forces had committed illegal and unconstitutional act. I think he believed the items were allegedly found in Mr. Moreno's home. <clears throat> I'd been planted there. <clears throat> With the backing of the Trump administration, Mr. Guido <clears throat> had been leaving calls for Maduro to stand down as president. Do, 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 just lay in my... Come on. There we go. Oops, wrong button. That's never a good thing, wrong button. Yeah. Well, to mention the deal of the stand down uh, as his president, dude. As president, that's discontent with socialism grows. India has a shoot. Mr. Moreno's arrest had provoked international condemnation with the US, European Union, and all uh, and my American nations demanding immediate release. Also, the EU seems to care about democracy what happens to other countries then, but not your own. That's interesting, you know, isn't it? <coughs> Fucking cuts. It's interesting, yet not surprising. Yep. Mr. Guido and Mr. Maduro each claim to be the constitutional president of Venezuela. So after Mr. Guido declared himself interim leader, his assets were frozen. And the Supreme Court, dominated by government loyalists, placed a ban on him. <clears throat> the 35 year old opposition leader fired that ban last month when he was toward Latin American countries to garner support. Reno has continued to call for President Matera to step aside and has urged security and forces which have been loyal to the government to switch sides. Venezuela crisis in nine charts, slow. Well, surely you need one. X, poverty, Y, socialism. Exactly, yeah. Uh, Mr. Reno continued to call for President Matera to step aside and has urged security forces which we mainly love the government to say, switch sides. Last week, the chief prosecutor said the Supreme Court investigated Mr. Guido for allegedly sabotaging the country's electoral system in the wake of this month's power cuts. <laughs> uh, why does he not look like he's has to eat family peps and pies and so have his waist? Well, because he's an elite, that's why. Yeah, I think Rosie has fallen on I think everyone else has left. I think it's just Tom here now. Tom and Arms Killer. No. And maybe Lynn. No, we're and both here. I'm on about the chat. Mysterious is still here. Mysterious Unknown Box. And so is Tom, Bob City, Arms Killer. Yay, Bob. And maybe Lindsay. And maybe Lindsay. I mean. Yeah, I think Rosie's fallen asleep, even though she's still in the chat room. This is a bit like you fall asleep on stream. <laughs> hey, I only did it once or twice. I only did it three times. times. Or, or three times or four times. Be right back. Once, okay, once. 
<laughs> okay, anyway, it's chilling time. Um, yeah, get, when you guys go on, though, it's normally like my bedtime, if you know what I mean. How oh, is this your bedtime? It's, uh, it's pretty much our bedtime for normal people. Mm. Oh, yeah, Lindsay's still here. Yeah, I said you, yeah, Lindsay. Yeah, but we're not normal people, dude. And gray hair right here, Snake's still here. Well, Tucker, is. Tucker goes to bed at normal time. Mm -hmm. And so do you, blind girl, as well, but you just sleep for ages. Ever. I sleep forever. I oh, wish I could sleep forever. That would be good. Yeah, I don't sleep. Uh, it can be I sleep in six, Tom. seven. Six, arrange. seven hours a night. That's more than what I get. Mm. Well, I average about three or four, then once a month, I'll, I'll just crash out for like 12 hours. Body needs to catch up. Yeah, I might do that tomorrow. I might just stay in bed all day until I sleep. That sounds like a good idea. Mm. All right, um, right, anything to chill? Right. Um... Right. Hey, Peter. Um, my links are in the description. I've hit affiliate on Twitch officially now, so um, expect no difference. Hey. Me, but just um, you've got the option to subscribe to me now. <laughs> You're going to show your link in the chat, now, or are you just too lazy? Um. Oh, I can do. If it's either three hours sleep or 14 hours sleep. I wish I got 14 hours sleep. There you go. Yeah, Tucker. All right, well, Pumpkin Trucker channel, links in the description. Almost daily da uh, dash cams. Uh, see where I am, what I'm doing live. Um, Wait, Peter. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Sorry, keep going. All right, um, and then immediately after this, immediately after that, line trucking, 8 p.m. until Sunday night. And then it goes back to 7 p.m. when the rest of the world hits uh, daylight savings along with us. I'm back. Because we, we did a little bit early this year. So, and uh, thanks for yeah. seeing us on Numbox for selling the stream clubs. Oh, yeah, my, my daylight savings finishes. So that means your shows will start even an hour earlier than normal. Yeah, for you, yeah. yeah. And if anybody if anybody noticed, that Streamlabs right there is responsible for us being able to understand Scotty a little more clearly today. <laughs> so keep him giving that man money and, uh, you know, he'll be speaking with an English accent soon enough. Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> well, there, you Peter. Please we'll subscribe if you haven't. Like Share, that. like, it used to say and it. also give uh, your monies. Yes, Tom. Put your link back you in if you want, because it's not an actual link. It's, they'll have to copy and paste that one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it didn't have the HWTTP thing, did it? Yeah. Yeah, thanks to uh, Trucker and Fishing Guy for the mic. He's waving at you, by the way. Hey, Fishing Guy. <sighs> he says thanks for the hey, mic. Hey, Fishing Guy. guy. Does Fishing Guy know we're Thanks on for the mic, Fishing Guy. Does he know we're still live? Yeah, no. I don't know. He does not know that. <laughs> anyway, any questions for the chat? Questions from the chat? <laughs> Spill shit until there's questions. Wait until 10 minutes to, and then I'm going to yeah. send everyone over to the blind girl stream. And then, of course, there's my YouTube as well. Yeah, sub to me, don't sub to him. He's overtaking me now. <laughs> He's overtaking you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, I'm still well, stuck on 69. Well, that's a good number to be stuck on, though. Let's be honest. Well, no, 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 no. no. 69, eh? Yeah. Scotsman, I've not overtaken you. You've just not caught up to me yet. <laughs> no, we were on the same level, then you overtook me. What's blind girl up to these days? I haven't looked for that for a while. I'm uh, getting uh, drugs. <laughs> so no, you haven't sub, please sub and share. I don't sound like I'm in a fucking tin that. can anymore. Mm -hmm. I, I'm getting drugs. I'm at the pharmacy. I'm getting drugs. Look, I mean, look at I mean, my drugs. Uh, oh, oh, okay. caffeine, drugs. Oh my. caffeine counts as drugs, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> look, you realize you're in public and you just went, I just, I'm getting drugs. 
yeah. Well, it's nighttime. I don't think they'll actually get to see your car. I'm um, just walking around. And serious I unknown box. Go on, Gil. Run outside and go. This is mega country. I want to uh, uh, but serious unknown <laughs> box. I did not want to get arrested. I didn't want to get arrested. <laughs> Simple as that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go around we'll here. just this say uh, number 12 country. had so many increments of seven years ah, that it, it would have been a four-digit sentence. I yeah. literally spent... It's a truck. Um... <clears throat> it's, a truck. <laughs> it's a big truck. It's fishing guy's truck. It ain't truck. that big. I literally spent an hour and a half just bullshitting about the EU. And, they uh, ain't a truck. <laughs> saying offensive truck. things and uh, attacking <laughs> people who voted Article 13 on Twitter. That's all I did. <laughs> <laughs> it is not worth. It, it does not deserve the light of day, that Steve, at all. <laughs> that could be the special one that only. That, that, could, that could be the special scene that only like idiots actually got to see. Yeah, it's best That's that he took Canadian that one down. They would have come after him for that one. Coffee. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> room. <laughs> room. 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 Look, I'm driving, guys. I'm blind and I'm driving. Oh, Jesus. And you Please let someone walk way. past as well? What the hell's wrong with you? you? Don't hit that woman, otherwise you'll be... <coughs> vroom, vroom. Look, it's my favorite place. It's the Timmy's. I, like, live here. Did that say LCBO? Yes, it does. That is our liquor store right beside the coffee shop. LCBO. <coughs> Yeah, that comes in handy. You get really longer. drunk at the liquor store, and then you got to go sober up and go get some coffee. Yeah, <laughs> yeah right beside oh. each other. It's a liquor store, is it? So LCBO means liquor, condoms, bottles, and oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I can't. Remember. What does LCBO mean again? Liquor Control Board of Ontario. Oh, okay. Liquor Control Board of Ontario. Not oh, liquor cool. condoms. No. Uh, I guess I could chill on Discord. Yeah, Join yeah. my Discord if you haven't already. <laughs> You'll know when I'm streaming if you... If I actually remember to fucking chill it in there, which half the time I don't. But... <laughs> All right, now remember, don't actually... the hot coffee at the worker. <clears throat> and actually, for benefit, yeah, for benefit of and yeah, yeah. considering traffic is light enough, for benefit of Scotty's stream... Mm -hmm. There you go. Woo! Um, Bring in my coffee, bitch. Yeah, so next Yay! one will be on uh, Saturday. I might just, I might do a Sunday stream. It won't be a proper one though. It'll just be like a Ring drinking it. bullshit steam kind of thing. <laughs> Serious uh, unknown boxes. Orange men bad. <laughs> Orange men bad. Oh my god, you Orange guys just bad. missed that. There's this guy, what did you put money on the counter and he yep. couldn't see it? Yep. He's like, he's like, uh, and he's like standing there wanting to be paid. And he's like, it's right there, right where, right there, right there. And he looks down and there's some money. He's like, oh, I feel so stupid now. And I'm like, wow, <laughs> this is a Canadian coffee shop. Good job. <laughs> uh, why am I so inconsistent with time? Uh, I haven't found a time slot yet. That's why. <clears throat> it's, it's literally just, um, Scotsman seems to be finding gaps in the schedule. Yeah, that's pretty much it. And they're just right. That's Woo! me. Woo! I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm getting it. Vroom, vroom. And then if, oh, like else, the... if somebody else decides the same thing, he then accuses them of stealing his time slot. I like yeah. his two. I like his two thirty a.m. time slot to my time. That's a good one. Well, there's my uh, bye, Twitch, and time for my YouTube's. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, oh, look, we have buses. Maybe. Just well, I'm going to she's starting in 10 minutes, but I think she's going to be late, so head over there anyway. I'm not going to be late. I'm like two minutes from my house. You're just getting a very brief tour of the Ottawa's on your stream, Scotty. No, she's going to be late. I'm not going right, to be well, late. I'm going to go oh, for she... a cigarette. While she doxes herself oh, extraordinarily. <laughs> <laughs> this is where I live. I am like two minutes from my apartment building, not even. Right, head over there and uh, like, share, and subscribe. Next year will be on Saturday at like three o'clock, I think. Three o'clock. And like I said, inconsistent with time, so I don't know. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. Goodbye.